Hello, hello, and welcome back to Girl Talk. I have been joined by maybe two of the most popular girls in school. I'm not oh, so sure. <laughs> you can already hear their voices. Yes, I'm joined by two Crown Lake stars, at least in season Aww, two. Yes. We have a newcomer with us Yay. joining the Crown Lake cast. I am with Lilia Buckingham and Lexi J. Hi. Hi. Thanks hello. for having us. I'm podcast and I just wave. Oh, <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Really this good. girl's always on camera. <laughs> no. Um, well, we're also on video for those watching on YouTube. Hi. Hi. So you knew. Oh, so they are on the camera. <laughs> you guys are in a unique scenario. Most people meet their castmates, like when we look at more like traditional type television, right? Exactly. They've never met before. They may know of each other, but that's it. That's you guys, how it usually is, yeah. Right. But your generation, they said, uh, no, forget that. I want to work with my friends. Yeah, <laughs> so. well, most of the time, yeah, yeah, when we're auditioning, I feel like as a lot of us have been auditioning for like, Oh, for like years so now. Mm -hmm. So like we've we've all seen each other in audition yeah. rooms. Like Lexi and I have definitely crossed yeah. paths before. Like we we all kind of know each other at this point. And honestly, I think nowadays we all could like we could get cast in the same show. What is it other, like yeah. then for both of you? Because yeah, typically when you're going in for a part, you don't know if you're like typecasted because yeah, you have brown hair, let's say a certain height or yeah. whatever yeah. not. But usually I would say that you don't know the person typically that gets the part. You might know of them, but in your guys' particular case, it could actually be your friend. Yeah. Oh, that's happening. Yeah. So, so how do you times. balance like yeah. the friendly competition 100%. of it all? We were just talking, yeah. literally right outside we were talking about this. I was spying I'm, on you. I'm, you yeah. didn't know? Oh yeah, no, <laughs> I you, I, <laughs> I've totally, she yeah. She said I had your mic I've wired on. you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I, I've had a couple friends who literally have booked stuff, and yeah. they end up showing up on set together, and they're like, oh, my gosh, you booked this? Yeah. And yeah. It's happened to me a couple times. I, it's definitely, I think it's just, it's such a small world. Okay, so for the most part, this world seems great. Like, yeah. you literally get to show up to work yeah. with your friends. It's awesome. Yeah. But I've got to... Is there ever a time then when it's like, okay, because you guys are a friend group and there are certain people, let's say, that start dating or break up and whatnot. And like, there's one thing you got to be professional, you got to show up to work and you got to yeah, be your character. Yes. But you guys live again in this like unique scenario where your off screen life isn't that far fetched from, from, our from on -screen. your on screen. Yeah. 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 I think it's taught us a level of maturity. Like, mm -hmm. all of us have had to grow up really fast because we're working on set with adults. Yes, right. And so it's like, you can't, you can't bring your personal <laughs> life onto set. Like, it's just, you, you have to you be can't professional. Do it. Yeah, because it's like, this is a job. Like, this right. is not, we're not in high school. Mm -hmm. Like, we're, we're mm -hmm. working. People are getting paid for this. Like, right. you're getting this paid. This is our job. Yeah, and no, you're like taking up people's time. So, like, if you, if you're messing something up because of, like personal a, life. a personal right. life it's, it's, it's just kind of yeah. like it feels it feels wrong i feel like to all of us because you're like oh shoot like and it forces us to get over things pretty quickly yeah. or like at least you guys are way more mature than i that i yeah. mean maybe it's a generation gap thing <laughs> one time i broke up with somebody and a week later we had a chemistry read it was I, I mean, it I wasn't need, bad I need, I need because you went in and you were great. like, I mean, that was yeah. like the whole story. No, but like, didn't no, this, you don't even say who <laughs> it is, but like, <laughs> how did you separate your actual like well, heartbreak and emotion? Well, the breakup like then, wasn't bad at oh, all. Okay. It was like yeah. just a mutual thing. But like, you really, that's when it, you have to like take all of your yeah. acting mm -hmm. training and be like, I'm in somebody else's mind. Like, yes. this isn't me. Like, right. I'm not mm -hmm. doing this for me. And so it's like. Did you know or did you find out? No, you get there. You got there and you're like, oh, And I was like, hi. Yeah. You separate work from from social life. From social life. So sure. do you just really get into your character? It's like I am not Lilia right yeah. now. I am totally. X character. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. Straight up, <laughs> I'm like, oh god. But yeah. no, it was fine. Then does that ever in your guys' industry? I think it is hard. A lot of people say separate your personal life from your work life. But again, you guys just don't. It's a different world. We don't live in that world anymore. Yeah, but yeah. But does it ever? Are you ever hesitant to maybe get into something or let's say fall for someone? in your working space mm -hmm. knowing that like yeah oh totally. like uh -huh. oh 100 yeah. percent. yeah i think actually because uh when you film for such long periods of times yeah. if you're if i mean it's bound to happen a girl and a guy if there's young like teens on set and yeah there's a bunch of guys there's a bunch of girls there's some there's bound to be either just really good friendships uh -huh. happen or if something blossoms into something it's more. It's bound to happen. It's bound to happen. But think, like, speaking from experience time, over here, it sounds like. It, it's actually never happened to <laughs> oh, me. Really? Like, it's, it's gotten me close. Close. Right. But could. I've had but I've so met, yeah. many friends that have been gone away shooting in like Canada for six yeah. months yeah. and they come back with a boyfriend, a boyfriend from who they were or on set with or, like, 
or a girlfriend or whoever yes. whoever it is. Um, no, I could see it happening. Yeah. And I think a lot of times watching, people want it to happen, right? Like we yeah. want these oh, on-screen romances yeah. to be happening off-screen. And, when, you're, and yeah. when, you're, when you have a boyfriend on a TV show and mm-hmm. you're both single and if you're both attracted to each other, like it's, it's, like, it's uh, bound to like, it's bound to happen. Fall in lo- you have to fall in love yeah. off-screen. And so, he like, spends so much time with each other. Like, because there's sometimes when you see the on-screen chemistry so good, right? And it's like, yeah, of course, like you could just be a great actress and that person could be a great actor or two actresses, whatever the, the scenario time. is. However, yeah. is there ever a time where you're sitting there wondering, like, or you feel as though like I am developing these emotions? Is this my character or is this me? And that could be a friendship. I yeah. I personally have never experienced that. Like I've never okay. had an on screen um yeah, neither relationship. I. But I have had friends like I think in Crown Lake there are a couple like um Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Low love did. things, but yeah, yeah, yeah. they're everyone's just yeah. really good friends. Like, right. there's nothing really going on inside, and everyone's just kind of yeah, a family, social. and we just all laugh at each other. Yeah. We make fun God, of each other for it. We're like, it oh, is, you have to so kiss them. Yeah, like, no. Oh. I was like, I will be here for this day when you're. Kissing, We're like blah, watching blah, blah, on the blah, screen. Blah. We're like, I'm like, right, it's gonna happen. It's gonna back. happen. We're in video village. Come on, okay, play back, play back. Okay, then take me to those on-screen kisses because we we watch them and we think like, oh my god, like that's what I want my. First, first kiss, kiss to be, be like, but a lot of people are like, they are. Yeah, like they're, they're really <laughs> awkward. Like they're really awkward is what oh people Oh my God, I've had to kiss so many people. Have you ever had to kiss somebody on screen? For my music videos. Yeah, I've had to kiss Taylor Blaine. Mm-hmm. I've had to kiss four people and they were all like two, four years older than me. And I was like, cool. I was actually doing this short film the other day and oh. I did have to kiss a guy in it and the guy had never kissed anyone. Oh. And That's gotta be pressure, sweet. right? And I was freaking out. I was like, I cannot believe this is, this is gonna be his first kiss. Like, it's gonna be me. Good. Like, it's so weird. And Lex, you know he's gonna remember like, that for yeah, ever. Like, oh, oh, and especially since it was on it's camera. Uh huh. Like, That's funny. It was interesting, but you know, we did it. We got through it. Yeah. I actually, How many takes? <laughs> so many. Was, by the end of the day, he was like, oh, I wish I you never did this. First, <laughs> second, third, fourth, fifth, um, sixth kiss. <laughs> just he all said of. regrets. Yeah. I actually did, though, when I was younger, I think it was like, 12 I was doing a short film and the director wanted me to kiss um a guy and I'd never had my first kiss and mm. I begged him I was like please Jeez, like yeah. just make me kiss him on the cheek like I don't want to I don't I want my first kiss yeah. to be special and it That's ended so up cute. being really special but luckily I got out of you that got out now of, yeah. I would be like oh yeah let's do uh, it. let's go let's go <laughs> okay since you went there not even on my sheet but we knew this didn't really matter we weren't <laughs> gonna go off this um <laughs> I just look professional with it, but <laughs> scratch that. She, like she said, where's my chair? Yeah. Um, okay, take me through, I'm curious, each of you, your first actual kiss that you've ever had compared to a first on, on-screen kiss. So okay. each of those. You want to go first? Sure. My first kiss was in seventh grade. Oh, this is so embarrassing. So happy. So happy I don't go to this school anymore. Um, And my like seventh grade boyfriend mm-hmm. was like the quarterback. And I was like, yes. oh my God. <laughs> and um, we were like dating, but we never talked. You know those no, relationships. Quote, we unquote, were just dating. Yeah, dating, but we like text. That was all a time. requirement when you were younger. We oh, cannot we talk, we but talk. we're exclusive. Don't you dare talk to anyone else. But we were yeah. in history yeah. class together, and that was like the only time we ever had interaction. And um, we went outside to work on a history mm-hmm. process, and uh, he kissed me outside my history classroom. And I went to dance class and was like, oh my God, I had my first class kiss. And my first on screen kiss was in dirt with my friend Blaine. And he was so respectful and so nice oh, and was like, do you want your mom here? Are you going to be okay? Like, this is where I'm going to put my hand and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And he was like, please tell me if you're uncomfortable mm-hmm. with any of this. And I was like, I love you. You're so good. That's like how you handle an on-screen kiss, I okay. feel like. It's kind of just, kinda just kinda like choreography, yeah. almost. Okay. Um, okay, so my first kiss <laughs> yeah, tell me. was in seventh grade <laughs> right. as well. Um, so funny looking back at it. <laughs> I know. Um, I see I was different from all my friends because I didn't want to lose my like first kiss mm-hmm. to like spin the bottle or try right. there. And so I had this I had the fattest crush on this kid. <laughs> and he was like the popular boy in school. He was like yeah. tall, blonde, like Ooh. long hair, like like <laughs> so cute. We're like fanning ourselves around. Time, like, oh, <laughs> wow. Um and I remember it was summertime and he had like showing showed signs of like flirting. We were mm-hmm. both really flirty with each other, and we'd been you know texting back and <laughs> forth. And um, he knew I hadn't had my first kiss. And uh, basically, all my friends were there. We were at this like kickback, and everyone was like, 
okay, he's going to kiss you tonight. He's going to kiss you. And I'm, like, freaking out. I'm, like, no, no, no. Like, I can't do this. And he's just, like, he was, like, hey, you want to, like, go on a little walk? So, like, oh, we go behind the house. And he's, so like, funny. he's just, like, talking to me. And I immediately was, like, okay, I've never had my first kiss. I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, so I really, like, I don't know what to do. Like, I'm sorry if it's bad. Like, da, da, da. So and I, he just shut me up and, and kissed d- me. Guess. That's so cute. Why I, I feel like, like that's out of a movie. Yeah, yes. I literally was just couldn't stop talking. I was so nervous, and what? then yeah, he kissed me. That's so cute. It was it was cute. That's adorable. Um, Do you love it too? Then you're on like cloud nine for like a week, and you're like, what is this new glow? Oh, what is this? And then, like, and someone. then you know, you found someone else, and we thrive. The audacity. We're thriving now. Yeah, yeah we are. Um, it's okay. I don't yeah. think your first kiss so should be the one you end up with. Yes, you got it. You should kiss some more frogs. Yeah, I mean, if it's definitely if kiss you did, frogs. congratulations. Yes, but um, what was your first on screen yeah. kiss? Um, my first on screen kiss. Honestly, I I feel like it was kind of recent. It, I was in like my music video. Like I I okay. I hadn't really mm-hmm. done anything. Um, Did you have any my, say in that? You're like, so I want there to be a kiss. Yes, I <laughs> I definitely wanted because I wanted to. Uh, it was for my song Attention, mm-hmm. and uh, this guy named Alex. Uh, he's plays my like boyfriend in my music video, and um, he was great. And I knew that we had like really good chemistry yeah. and. I was talking to the director and I was like, I really want like us to kiss in this. Like I want there to be little scenes where, you know, like a little make out or like yeah. here and there. Mm-hmm. And cause I feel like that's, you know, we're, we're 17. Like that For happens. Sure. That's normal. Yeah. People um, forget that. Well, there's nothing people, worse than watching a music video that. and you want it to happen and you want it to happen and, and, it and then it ends and, and it doesn't. Like, and you're like, oh, I'm unsatisfied. And I think so. it's like a normal thing. You know, it's, yeah. I think people forget totally. that. That's not normal. Like, like, it's not taboo. Like, 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 watch this really grow normal. up. Yeah. So I think it's um, like, yeah, I think yeah. people have watched us since we were kids. So like us doing normal teenager right. things like people that. People forget that people we're are like, literally what? just normal teenagers. We, like, we have crushes. Yeah. We, for sure. You know, um, but you it was so interesting. Yeah. Oh my gosh. No, you okay. guys kiss. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, mean, you hold hands? What? That's oh like really inappropriate. That's really embarrassing. For me, it wouldn't be embarrassing for like my peers and like, those younger watching that wouldn't bug me personally what may bug me parents. which parents thank you grandparents that would be the I thing that'd be was, a little harder for me to get over when i was filming my music video i was like guys you're not coming you're just, oh, i was like you're not coming to this i'm really sorry i love you the monitors yeah he took pictures Stop. of me kissing this guy for like a but, for a thing and he was like look lilia and i was like <laughs> But get out. But yeah. that's what we sign up for, you know. That like is, that's that is. that's part of the acting um, experience, and you know it's it's bound to happen. But is there yeah. anything then <laughs> you say that because yeah, like I think as actors, so you do want to challenge yourself. You want to take yeah, on yeah. roles that are different than you. One hundred percent. You know your yeah. personality. So is there any role out there <clears throat> that you would like to see yourself play that maybe you don't want to experience in your own life, yeah. but you'd love to like yeah. explore as a character? I would love to do something where it's like you're just like out of your mind yeah. or like something s- that you would have to do the kind of research and like right. really kind of yeah. get into a headspace that would be good for the role. I don't know. Yeah. I think that'd be cool. No, I mean, I think so too. I, I would love to see, I mean, you should just write it in. I know, Craig, I know. Like, you've got to stick with like no, the brand we've of the got show. Some, we've got some. Some stuff is coming. Some, yeah, well, this season is just so, so. Define dark. dark. You said I mean, dark. Define so dark. Dark. There's a lot of different different things that you wouldn't usually see and yeah well we've got a lot of yeah Yeah. i when we first started writing season two Mm -hmm. i was like i want to take it to a different level yeah like i want it to be darker even aesthetically like it if you look in the trailer it it looks it looks tonally darker emotionally darker i feel like we're all like going to like so we do like uh, just not this isn't necessarily darker, but we cover like an LGBTQ storyline, okay. which is super, super, super important. And we see that a little bit in the trailer, right? Yes, which is uh, that was my first mm-hmm. thing that we needed in season two. Yeah. I was like, I need, we, Very I important. would like to see yeah. representation. Um, and Bratz, I want to give credit to them. I was good about yeah. this because I remember talking to Indiana and yep. Sara, and they I'm so covered happy it about that. and Chicken Girls as well. So. Yeah. yeah, and then um, we have so we have like four new characters and okay. one of them their name's Izzy and they are we the love Izzy. coolest person She's ever the coolest yeah they uh, and they, Izzy wasn't a part of like your initial like no you no know she, I auditioned Izzy there okay this show actually has a lot of like and real I'll, actors yeah and, and also actresses yeah yeah well I remember her, uh, I remember them coming into audition mm-hmm. and they have just educated me on so many things they identify as non-binary I was gonna say I noticed yeah Yeah, so they identify as non-binary and so Mm -hmm. I 
learned so much from them and they're the most incredible actor like oh my god i'm so excited for you guys to see their performance it's incredible i feel like we have definitely our generation has grown in you a guys, sense of really like have. we're i think we're the changing generation yeah, we're which is making wonderful. a stance of it's great my yeah. gen us millennials basically implemented the whole social media thing right yeah, like created yeah. all that and then what you guys yeah. like, did with it is like i don't know you can't have one without the yeah. other obviously but it's Completely. like it's so good to see what you yeah. guys and are it's doing just giving it. people the the space to yeah. express and identify yeah. as however they want right. to like however no, they sure. feel they must yeah. identify and i'm like that's awesome well and i love about it too you guys are Again, it's so accepting, and I feel like, you know, it takes people time to catch on, and especially yeah. when you go to older generation, older yeah. generation, older generation. But with that being said, it is interesting because I think the beautiful thing about you guys is that just because it's, let's say, it doesn't have to be right for you to be right for them, and vice exactly. versa. You accept that you're that way, you accept that I'm this way, yeah. and, like, we're cool. Yeah. Everyone's There's just not supportive one right of way. each other. Exactly. Like, it's yeah. it's very totally. I think it's becoming very accepting, and yeah. people are... I feel like when I came out to my friends, no one cared. Oh, Everybody was like, we cool. were so like, oh my God, that's so cool. Everybody like, was so like, happy. good for you, okay. Which is great because there's not this like, there's a whole, yeah. whole right coming out of the closet. I mean, I don't even want to go in my closet, let alone come out of my closet. <laughs> Something about a closet is scary. It's you know? a, yeah. We had to change scary. that up. It's like, that's where the boogeyman is. That's like it's where true. I don't even want to go in there in the it's morning. Totally. Like, yeah. So I feel like maybe yeah. that's what your gen of I remember, I remember when else. Lilia came, came out to me, I was like, oh, like, sick. Like, that's like, so great. Like, cool. I was like, so cool and the way it was, I it was awesome Emily was we were at century city and i was like look that's the girl i used to have a crush on and she was like no way let's go in there that was it stop that was all did you go yeah we did and does funny. this girl know or no this girl this girl knew she knew at the time okay, yeah we, we, had been, we had been a thing okay gotcha, gotcha. We're, we are not anymore Oh yeah, I'm they're not a thing. I don't know who that is. But they're not a thing anymore. <laughs> they are definitely not Lexi together. Lexi said, "I know she's not a thing anymore." <laughs> so okay, interesting enough, because I feel like with your generation, it is easier to come out to those that are understanding. I do. parents sometimes different generations, yeah, the parents. public and people's idea of you. People yeah. are we still. say just do it. It's easy, but like truth of the yeah. matter is, oh my it's God. not. Especially like, yeah. for instance, like having such a, a huge platform mm -hmm. yeah. like Lilia, that and a lot of people do look up to her. I mean, I'm I'm sure that was so hard, especially. Yeah. Uh, obviously, your parents were very supportive of yeah. it, but not a lot of parents are. Yeah, no, I was. Sure. I'm so lucky, and like I'm also really lucky that my audience has been so supportive. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, it was definitely. It was definitely really scary. I mean, I was actually outed to my whole school. Like, it really? wasn't my decision to come out. So, like, that was so scary and yeah. so And I painful. feel like we see that maybe play out in the trailer of a new oh, character. Um, there's, <laughs> like, a lot two. of yeah. things that are important to me mm -hmm. in Secret Crown League, which is great. But, yeah, so, like, that's – so then I, myself, decided to come out on the internet because I was, like, I want to be there for young right. kids who are feeling the same way as I am. And – and the feedback and what was, post like, was really, yeah. like, positive, right? The feedback yeah. was, I actually didn't even, like, make a big post about it. I tweeted, and I said, okay, I need a cute tweet. boy or a cute girl to hold my hand right now. And everybody was like, oh, I think hold I on. That. What? And I was like, yeah. Like, like there's no teach. right or wrong way. It's just We don't look way. at anybody differently because yeah. someone likes well, a girl like, or someone yeah, likes exactly. a guy. <laughs> it's awesome. Can you date back, just, and if not, that's totally fine, but to, like, when you did know that it's like, oh, the way society has taught me is I'm supposed to like a boy, oh, right? Oh, totally. Quote, unquote. But when you were like, oh, but I, I actually, I actually like a girl, too. Yeah. Well, like, I felt very straight for, like, a long yeah. time. Like, I loved boys. Mm -hmm. And, like, I also loved my boyfriend. I had a boyfriend of, like, nine months, and I was, like, head over heels mm -hmm. in love with him. And then we broke up. And then I thought I maybe had feelings for a girl. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, maybe that was just a fluke. And, like, that's kind of just, like, how right. I was. But then I actually, like, fell in love with a girl. And... Okay, so then I was like, nope, this is real. But then, then I always wonder this in your your type of scenario. How do you know if that other girl feels the same way? You, you don't. You don't. Okay, so you, it's you really just have to. You like, don't. I. Well, the girl actually told me first, okay. which was great, so I didn't have to like worry. Right, right. <laughs> but yeah, you, sometimes you don't know, and you're like, ah, that other girl, I like didn't. I had no idea. So I was like, I we're just gonna okay. not talk about this. But it was actually it's worked out great for me in the past. Yeah. The only ever times I've liked girls. But I'm not knocking Well, I just feel like, too, like you're such like a person that, like, magnetic. I'm sure you feel it as well. Like, you can just yeah. gravitate towards, towards you. you. So either way, like, there's going to be you. love for yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. So, we'll see. You're, I mean, I want to say it's great. But it is. It really is. It's like Thank everyone you. should be able to do it. But really look at, to you as an example because you've done such I a good job of it. And everyone's just trying to figure it out, y'all. Like, yeah. <laughs> honestly, like, I'm so disappointed if you, 
like, like know what you are and yeah. don't label yourself like that's cool too I like, think you just no gotta like really yourself cares. honestly like exactly. love yourself and the, the rest will fall we'll into come. play but that can be hard too let's not make any of this seem like it's yeah, easy yeah, every same. day when did you have to accept each of you yourself because we wake up every day and it's like y'all you look beautiful everyone's I'm, like if I was her I would be happy I'm still honestly like yeah. this is one of the things that I hate about social media just yeah. because you only see 0.1 percent of our lives and mm -hmm. I think a lot of people forget that you know I'm I mean all of us are living yeah. normal lives I still go to public school with 5,000 kids like okay so I'm still, still working my butt off with with homework like and school and, and, and college and applications yeah. and and tests and AP classes you know I'm still living the life with some extra perks perks for sure um but it's all work but I, mean, I, it's down a, it's I have yeah, like work. I go through stuff all the time like mm -hmm. I yeah. have mental breakdowns and anxiety yeah. attacks and yeah and I get yeah. in fights with my parents and I cry and yeah I deal with friendships and, and yeah. heartbreak over boys you know mm -hmm. yeah and I I'm trying to post more um like when I do that. cry right yeah. I I want to put that out there and say like you know what hey yeah. like I just yeah. went through this and every time I have done that everyone has responded and, and wrote back and I've gotten DMs and yep. people are like, wow, like I didn't think you were actually like this. And yeah. Yeah. I think it kind of sucks because you look at social media and you're like, oh, they have such a perfect yeah. life yep. or wow, they have that. Like that's so cool. But in reality, like we're all going through yeah, stuff, man. Through like we're all thing. going through some tough yeah. stuff mm -hmm. and yeah. you know, it's, no one's perfect we don't have no. perfect lives yeah. and That's and it. although it may look perfect and we might be smiling in our pictures yep. you know it doesn't mean we're always so happy, happy. i've yeah. heard it before where someone said don't compare your life to someone else's highlight reel and but oftentimes that's, that's what instagram point. is it's, it's so hard not it's to so do hard. that yeah. it is and it is i yeah. find myself comparing like to people all it's so the easy time to, like fall into that it's so easy but yeah she's right like all of us like all of us go through that and I feel like it's also hard because you'll be like oh she's so pretty like right. she's perfect or whatever but I feel like all of us struggle with like yeah. body image and like face like oh it's uh -huh. really like 100%. we've all like we all still struggle with that just because we're still teenagers and right. like there are good days and there are bad days and like the anxiety many thing bad too. days <laughs> like or oh bad right yeah. like God, I feel like social media causes a lot of anxiety it's for me. Really, like, I've go to therapy, kids. It's so fun. I actually need to get a therapist because I've been going through therapy. Therapy's the best some thing stuff ever. It's just, it's I think it's just having someone people, to talk to that'll listen. That's yeah. really, I think people. I just there's nothing wrong with going to therapy, yeah. guys. It's amazing. The biggest thing is that I think that people just forget that they're. That you know, we're real people. We're just real. You're not an exception to the human. rule. Exactly. Like, as exactly. high as a pedestal people will put you on. No, literally, yeah, exactly. though, it's like you are human you wanna, and you're You no want to relate to people. And, yeah. and I think that's why sometimes, like, it's good that not all of us have to wear makeup or we mm -hmm. post, oh, yeah, guys, I have a pimple. Like, yeah. yeah, guys, my skin is breaking out. My so skin is breaking I'm on my period. Like, sorry. <laughs> right. She's right. Right. I'm going through hormones. I'm bawling yep. my ass out over a stupid boy that <laughs> I never even talked to you like yeah i'm gonna cry and i ran it. out of tampons literally i can be out of guys. tampons so this please is give me a break this is actually the this life this is the life you oh, want oh don't even start on that <laughs> this no struggle no, is real <laughs> what would you say then if you can think i know it's hard on the top of your head but like is an insecurity that you do struggle with most often totally body 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 100 percent body it's because of body the industry image. that we're in right. like you it is we so are, trained since we were trained. Mm -hmm. children that we cannot be have look. we have to look like those I'm, girls in like yep. the cw yeah. or like yeah, they're getting actually and way better i about think it. it's yeah but, i think they're getting way better about it but, but it's still I, tough. my mental health is bro i i don't know if it's like appropriate to talk about but no, like, no it is it's fine here it all goes it yeah i it's, i don't know the right word exactly to describe it no, but i know exactly what it's you're saying. very draining it's mm -hmm. it's hard it's very draining especially when it makes you feel you know, really bad sometimes it makes you feel really very really bad. bad pretty and i pretty bad. think that's interesting too because it's always like i'm just gonna throw a number well when i lose 10 pounds i'll be happy right it's always that number yeah. but you can get to that 10 pounds or i look at a photo of myself 10 quote unquote pounds ago and it's like was she happy then yeah i think it's always it, i think a lot of times we ignore the progress yeah. the process where it's like, and this is just a bad example because it's a weight example, but it's like when I lose two pounds, I'm like, oh, that's exciting. It's getting yeah. to the destination. We always yeah. think we got to get there and then we're happy. And it's like, no, that that's not really how it but works. But it's yeah. like, this is our job, you know, yeah. and, and 
it, and fortunately that's the life we chose we're yeah. choosing to to do this mm-hmm. and it does come with um staying healthy and, and keeping up on yeah like there's certain nothing wrong things. with going there's to stay healthy yeah. it's just it's but like when you get to one way. unhealthy standpoint right. where you're looking you, at yourself and you're like i can't do this or i can't do this because i need to look a certain way and i think I think all of us are we're working through that there. and getting better yep, about 100%. it because like we it is need hard. to but yeah i have learned though that to take it because there have been some points in my life where i've, I've thought about certain things mm-hmm. and, yeah and yeah. luckily i do have great friends who are yeah. always like keeping me <laughs> keeping <laughs> me good <laughs> yeah. um but i've learned to take those things and looking at myself and thinking about certain things to to take them and turn them into a healthy right. Yeah. way they're, they're yeah. not in a healthy necessarily carrots veggies salad right, type right. of thing but yeah. just keeping my body and my mental mm-hmm. health healthy. yeah totally well and I always think too I'm a big believer in like what you think of what is that what you think about you bring about so if you're constantly thinking yeah. whatever it is like my legs are too big my legs are too big my legs are too big like honestly your legs will be big like it's just because that is honestly what you are thinking of the entire time but the second you switch your mentality it's hard to do but you feast upon something else, then you start bringing upon something better, usually. Yeah. yeah. And I also have to think about, too, like, we all were put on this planet with different body types, right. you know? Yeah. Not, no one's, some people are more curvy to. than yeah. others, and yeah. some people are different body shapes. Like, everyone's different body shapes, and, you know, our bodies can't all be the tiny little body No, or else dolls, you're all going to be going know? for the same exact role. Exactly. That's the thing, too. <laughs> you realize now the people that are actually standing out are the people that are let's just put it this way, that aren't necessarily getting the lip filler, the cheek filler. And like, now we're yeah. all trying to look like, and they're beautiful, and I would love to look like Lana Kardashian, but if we're she all trying no to shade. look like that, yeah. then it's now the people with other, I don't even want to say like unique features, but kind but of, being, yeah, but being that are yourself. standing out but being yourself better. and exactly. being real, because that's, that's the only thing mm-hmm. that matters as long as you're true with yourself and yeah, being real. Totally. And totally. I think that's why a lot of people, I, I would say our group is really a really real like real yeah, group it's awesome we all just kind of it's, it's like good. if we put stuff out there like we're it means like we're, we're authentic about it and and right and what I would agree. you say then because within your group obviously you said you can be real you guys can talk you have an understanding of one another mm-hmm. you live in this same not only world but la world and we know kind of yep. how that works what would you say then you think is the biggest misconception about you that maybe the public or your followers may have that's maybe not true first? that's an interesting question um I think the biggest misconception people have about me. Oh wow, there's so many. Um, yeah, there's like oh I my can't god. Even think um, I think that my life is. This is a broad thing that I will yeah. go into more. But like my life is perfect, right. and that like I get like spoiled a lot because I'm so lucky and grateful to have. I was blessed with. The, um, I'm very privileged and right. I've been given so many things and I have so many wonderful opportunities yeah. b- because of a lot of right. the things that I was for given sure. earlier in my life and I'm so grateful for that mm-hmm. especially even my platform like I've had to grow it so much right. but like it's easy to take a look at someone like me and be like spoiled brat like you're not thankful or grateful or haven't worked for anything that you have and uh-huh, I think that's that's like one of the biggest things that normally gets me down because it's like I know in my heart that like I've worked for a lot of the things that I have but I'm also Mm -hmm. very aware of the fact that I I'm a little Caucasian girl who has lived in LA her whole life Mm -hmm. and I I'm lucky enough to be privileged and I went to a private very expensive private school I had an incredible education and not very few people have that and so a lot of the things I've been given I've gotten easier than others but I think the only thing that we can do with that is acknowledge that acknowledge that and be grateful for right. it and then use that platform that I was given to talk about the things that matter to me right. and be authentic and connect with a younger audience and talk about the things that that I connect with. Right. And um, I think I'm just like that's where kind of like this whole world is crazy because mm-hmm. it's like you just have to know in yourself that like you've done things and you've worked for what you have and like you're doing the best that you can and like that's why I think for me like even creating that something better music video like we used our paychecks and we didn't like ask our parents or any adults for help once like it was I think it's really rewarding to know that you did something yourself and that's kind of where I come from but that's the big I think the biggest misconception for me and I think I hear what you're saying and I've said this before and I've heard someone say it and and it was powerful to me and it was that 
I make no apologies for my fortune. And and by that, it's like, I don't want to discredit those that came before me who yeah. worked really hard yeah. to give me the life that they have because then I'm kind of knocking yeah. their work on yeah. it, right? But yeah. at the same time, you're acknowledging the fact that maybe you had a, a leg up. Yeah. But I it's what you did, did with the leg up. And yeah. that's always yeah. the case because it's like, and I'll vouch for you in that when I came over to your house that one day, I don't even remember why at this point, we were covering something. Yeah. Your mom was on you about your homework. And we talked about dance moms because there's a lot of the girls from that whole franchise there. Yeah. And it was like, I don't know if I was talking to you or your mother, but it was that you had an opportunity to be a part of it. But actually, it was your mom that said, no, not yet. Yeah. I wasn't We're going to do school. I wasn't That's, allowed yeah. to like come into this right. world. I mean, I was yeah. auditioning when I was nine just because I loved acting and I'd like grown right. up to do it. But yeah, my parents were not big on the whole this crazy world because they were yeah. both like school and I had they been who like, knows where your life would have honestly gone completely. Yeah. so yeah i think the same kind of like for lilia i think a lot of people look at me and by my pictures they think mm -hmm. oh she's a she's a biatch or she's yeah. very mean and but i think when do people they look at me they think yeah. oh she's just a mean girl and she's spoiled and she's privileged and she's all this and really no i i work for what i have mm -hmm. i pay for a lot of my stuff i for my music videos and and when I yeah. go into the studio and I have to pay like two three thousand yeah. dollars a lot it's of money like I'm paying I'm money. taking out out of my work I'm 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 taking out mm -hmm. stuff that I made and you know my parents have thank God for them because yeah. they keep me grounded they're like you're not you're not being homeschooled you're staying in school you're That's staying awesome. in public school right. you're you're waking up every day you're gonna you're gonna do the work you're gonna go to college yeah. you know it's You're not their choice to send me to college. I want to go to college. <laughs> I <got you>. um, <laughs> but I think a lot of people do think like, oh, yeah. you know, you're just given all of this. You're spoiled. Yeah. You're a brat. Da, 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 da. Yeah. And it sucks because, you know, we actually, we do work hard. You know, it's, yeah. a, it's a job. You can't not in this industry. It's, no it's one is pretty enough to honestly make it and, and lack a work That's ethic. Sure. It just doesn't exist in this industry. That is yeah. how you will be weeded out. But yeah. yes, I, like, like what you were saying, I'm so grateful for the opportunities mm -hmm. that I've been given. Mm -hmm. and that I'm I am able to live the life I, I live with what I have made and yeah you know the things that I'm able to do and the stuff that I've been given mm -hmm. and my family and the house yeah. I live in and For just sure. the yeah. people involved and totally. I'm very 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 grateful but that doesn't mean I take anything for granted or For sure or yeah. abuse it because that's you know that's not how I was raised and I don't think that's how it's Lily what was you I have just a strong it's what you do with it and it's not yeah. everyone's handed the same deck of cards what do you guys decide then? What of your personal life is okay? Because you guys, like again, you want to be relatable. You want the world to know that you are struggling and you, you know, you're going through things. But where's the line? Because That's you have to remain somewhat of a personal life, right? Yeah. Yes. I keep my relationships pretty private. Yeah. Um, I think, like, friends, I think they forget sometimes that, like, I've seen this on Instagram so many times. They're like, are you not friends with blah, 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 because you haven't posted with them? And you're like, no. Sometimes we just, like, don't post. Yeah. Like, I, that is the biggest thing. Oh, I'm like, bro. All the time, just because I'm, like, don't, me and Lilia probably see each we other, never like, post, but like, like not we, that often. Not that often. Yeah. Doesn't we're mean we're not great really great mm -hmm. friends. D does it mean we have to post every time with, we're with each other? No. Yeah. I, I can't tell you how many times. Sometimes, usually, um, actually, w one of my best friends, Sophia, I'm with her, like, pretty much every day because we go to the same school, mm -hmm. and she, um, there's just, we were just with each other all the no time. I she went to your school. Yeah, see, you, you don't know. You, yeah. you, she's with me all the time, and people always comment. They're like, oh, you guys aren't friends anymore. Da, da, da. Or like, yeah, breaking right. news on a T page. Lexi, Jade, and Sophia Burlam are not friends anymore. I'm like, like with what? her, and we're just laughing. Really? We're yeah, sitting there, we're like, with Maddie what? and Millie. Yeah. I'm like, I never see these people because they're always traveling. Yep. But like, when we're like together, half the time you don't want to post because like, you just want to enjoy. I'm going to be honest with you, though. You having said that, I do remember, I thought that. Looking at your page at one point, because you always would post. Yeah. They'd always be at your house. Well, they'd be staying Well, half the time they're traveling. Right. Those two are Twabbly. the... Twabbly. But, like, I felt, I know this. But I was supposed to, they were going to the Turks and Caicos, and I was supposed to go with them, but I couldn't. But, like, yeah. people just, you don't Because like, you had to post with Melly. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, like, but all, I fell victim to that. I literally did think in my head, and I know the industry well, and I know yeah. what we're doing in it, but there are, even me, someone that knows it, the ins and outs, well, even had, had that yeah. thought, because that's what we're kind of conditioned yeah, to we're like these days. Right? I think it's just like it's kind of like, I it think is. we're living in a simulation. I just have such some a better time, like not not taking pictures, not mm -hmm. worrying about that. Like yeah. I almost enjoy like putting my phone down or like doing yeah, something active or like 
when when I am on like vacation with friends or mm-hmm. I am like traveling or doing something or I'm with people like it's we just we just hang out we chill right, yeah. we're spending quality time with each totally. other doesn't mean we have to be in the camera every second you yeah know? it's it's I think a couple things with that difficult. one I think we should clear the air now Guys, whoever I post with, it's all about me. It's how I look in that photo. I don't even care who's in it. Okay, That's I don't so even care funny. if you're my ex boyfriend. I look good. It's going up. Like I love you. That's all the about funniest me. thing I've ever. It's not about the person. She said it doesn't to. matter. It doesn't matter. You don't matter. You don't matter. <laughs> I only matter on my Instagram. There, that's what I'm she's saying. She's making points. So I feel like that's what it is. It's like yeah. I'm posting this for my own honestly selfish reasons, and it's like that's so I think funny. people just over uh, overthink this whole posting thing. Like, yeah, I post just to like I don't even really. Good, what even is the point of it? it? Like, what, what what even is the point? Like, what it, it's if like I like the way a picture looks, then I'll post it. Like, that's that's kind of how I program. Like, I just like my whole thing is I like Instagram because I like being able to like make my feet look good it just like gives me a sense of control mm-hmm. in my life well, you're that's, yeah. I, that's actually I'll what my yeah. therapist told me I just really. like don't yeah. care yeah. about okay. my feet I literally just don't care I just, that's, I like, just post whatever exactly. like if I could like, post a picture of a dog or an ice cream like, like you know what you know, honestly go crazy. you know I'm just gonna do it I love that we've kind of barely talked about the show but I know we can only talk about it so much because it's not yeah. technically out you guys yet, have seen the first listening. episode since when this airs yeah what do you want people to take from it this particular season mm-hmm. I feel like it's close to your heart yeah definitely this season and really you coming on as a new character what do you want people to I get think, out of it um I think people just it's it's really interesting and I think there's a lot of ups and downs to it and I think you learn a lot about relationships and friendships yeah. and and trust I think Big trust one. is oh, such yeah, a huge thing, thing. It, it, uh, and just accepting people and you yeah. know who your real it's friends are and who your mm-hmm. your fake ones are season. I think it's a huge thing and yeah. this season even though it's like very mysterious and very whimsical I think the, our show has a lot of real life issues and real life themes 100%. that matter a lot like you said like friendship and um forgiveness mm-hmm. and accepting and accepting yourself like right. that's a lot we have a lot of real themes here so like yeah. when you watch i hope that like yeah. people can identify it with at least one of the characters I think, yeah i hope people can connect with it too I think that's a good it's yeah. very real and i, think a lot I mean of kids can connect there with are it. some, uh, some well, there's some crazy things, things in there but um when you said it's partially your story right like there's parts of it in there so yeah it, and there's people should be able to because it's yeah it's, yeah it's all someone's shows story. are based Always. off of so, uh, something Sure. an experience I or a hope, feeling yeah. or a I hope people can pick up too on some little uh little mysteries yeah guys you're gonna you'll you'll know so more you'll over watch and re-watch it. I wish we could I wish I we wish could, we could say more but I mean, I do too. we gotta come back when the season ends and then okay. we can debrief she said it this okay. is a recording there you go she just confirmed we got it. that yes. she's coming back yes <laughs> um okay cool catch crown lake on youtube yeah keep up with your yes. socials at Lexi Jade. She sometimes posts as acne. <laughs> just kidding. Yes. Catch me uh, one time, once a month. You know, yeah, I'll just with be my out there. Yeah. Face. Um, and I'm at Lilia. Perfect. All at right, Lilia. girls. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Come back anytime. We Thanks will. Thanks for being open and vulnerable. Because Aww, of course. Oh, yeah, this was so fun. This was such a girl talk No, thing. yeah. I love I love talking about those certain things. Because I feel like you don't really hear people talk about them. You don't. You really don't. But so Opening the conversation. All right, but they're still being recorded. I'm gonna let it keep going. All right, make sure if you haven't subscribed to this podcast yet, please hit the subscribe button. Subscribe. 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 And if you're watching on YouTube, well, then just hit the subscribe. Please let us know that you did it, and you don't win anything, but like we'll love you. And our love is you win our hearts. You can't buy it. Cannot buy our love. Exactly. If you're listening on the podcast, make sure you rate it uh, five stars. If you're feeling nice, Uh, please give us a comment. That's nice. And also, yeah. I'm done plugging. I'm plugged out. Plug, plug, plug. Plug, 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 plug. Have a good day, everybody. Bye. Bye.